In this video, I'll show you how to divide radicals by its conjugate. Just before we begin, the conjugate of an expression is identical to the original expression except that the sign between the terms is changed. The question that we have is divide 3 plus the square root of x by 2 minus the square root of x using the conjugate method. So let's rewrite this in a way that's familiar to us. We have 3 plus the square root of x over 2 minus the square root of x. To do this, we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Let's analyze that for a second. Our denominator is 2 minus the square root of x, and its conjugate is 2 plus the square root of x. So let's multiply the numerator by 2 plus the square root of x, and the denominator by the same thing. We have a binomial times a binomial. Let's see what happens when we multiply the two. 2 minus the square root of x, now this is the denominator. We'll focus on the numerator next. This times this, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times the square root of x is positive 2 square root of x. This times that gives us negative 2 the square root of x. And this term times that term, we have two square roots being multiplied. That gives us minus x. These two terms are opposite of each other, so they cancel out. 4 minus x is our final denominator. Let's move on to our numerators. We have 3 plus the square root of x, this part, times that part. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times the square root of x is plus 3 square root of x plus 2 square root of x. Remember, these are like terms. And this term times that term gives us plus x. Let's combine these two. We end up with 6 plus 5 square root of x. I've only combined the coefficients plus x over 4 minus x. The reason why this method is effective is because in the beginning, we had 2 minus the square root of x, where you can't have a radical in the denominator, and you can't rationalize either. So by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, you end up with an expression that does not contain a radical in its denominator. And there you have it. That is how to divide radicals by its conjugate.